In this animation, we will explain the principle of the new ryocathurinary catheter and how it is different from the currently available catheters. Here we see the pictures of two urinary bladders. Notice that microbes are always present in the initial portion of the urethra, which can cause infections if they are taken deep inside the urethra or even worse, inside the urinary bladder. There are also always sharp and hard microcrystals of oxalate and urate, chemicals present in the urine, in the urethra's interior. In the initial phase of catheterization, both catheters work the same way, they simply slide in the urethra. Standard catheter is sliding in and pushing the crystals of oxalates and urates inside the urethra, which then cause small cuts in the lining of the urethra. Also, the microbes are stuck on the catheter's front surface, so they are transported deep into the bladder. And now let's look at the detailed view of the Ryocath catheter. Ryocath catheter is based on a gradual uncoiling of the inner layers, where the front part continually emerges from the inside and is then pushed aside as the catheter is pushed forward, so basically the catheter is continuously turning inside out. Thus, instead of moving along the wall of the urethra forward, as is the case with the conventional catheters, the Ryocath catheter is continuously gently progressing forward while leaving the portion which was previously touching the surface behind. Because of its revolutionary design, Ryokat catheter is rolling from the inside out and that means that the crystals and microbes cannot be moved from their original position. Now we can compare both catheters during the catheterization simultaneously. On the left you can see that standard catheter is causing small injuries inside the urethra and transporting microbes into the bladder. On the right side, with the Ryocat catheter, everything stays in its original place. Now let's consider the potential outcomes of these two methods of catheterization. Standard catheter brought microbes into the urethra and urinary bladder and caused small injuries to the lining of the urethra, thus significantly increasing the risk of the inflammation of the urethra and urinary bladder infections, in most severe cases even the inflammation of a kidney. On the other hand, with the Ryocat catheter, there are no microbes in the bladder, no signs of trauma to the urethra, thus significantly decreasing any risk of post-catheterization complications.